Hello, my name is Adelina Popescu and I'm a data analyst at BT Provider. Today we are going to learn how to create custom sliders for scatterplot in Tableau. For this, we are already connected to the global superstore data source offered by Tableau. And the first thing that we have to do is to create a calculated field named cells per order. And um, here we are going to make uh, an LOD expression. And fixed uh, the order ID level sum of cells. Next, we um, will uh, do another uh, calculated field named profit per order. And uh, here we will type in the same formula and fix at the order ID level sum of profit. Then click OK. Now we have to right click on the profit per order calculated field and then create bins. And for the size of bins, type in the value 1. We have to repeat this step, but we, uh, now with the sales per order calculated field, right click on it, create bins, size of bins, type in the value 1, and then click OK. Now we have to create uh, two parameters. The first parameter, we, uh, we will rename it profit parameter. From the data type, we have to select integer. And for the current value, you have to type in a value that you want. Then click OK. Now we have to create a second parameter named sales parameter. From the data type, select integer. And from the current value, type in a value, for example, this one. Then click OK. Now we have to um, work in this sheet and we will rename this sheet profit slider. Profit slider. And now we have to drag the profit parameter and profit per order bin to um, in the um, columns area. In the rows, sorry. So we have to drag the profit uh, per order bin and profit parameter on the rows area. On the uh, profit per order bin, we have to right click on it and select continuous. Uh, for the second axis, we have to right click on it and select dual axis and then repeat this step, right click on it and select synchronize axis. From the marks area for the profit per order bin, we have to change the visualization type to line. And for the profit parameter, the visualization type to circle. Also, we can change the colors from here. I will pick the same colors for bo both of them. And also, I will hide the, the axis here and here. Now we have to create another um, another sheet named cells slider. And here we um, will drag the cells per order bin and cells parameter on columns. Also we have to right click on the cells per order bin and select continuous. Right click on the second axis and select dual axis and the repeat step and select synchronize axis. Next, for, from the marks area, for the cells per order bin, select line and for the cells parameter, select circle. We also can change the colors. I will put the same colors for both of them. And also we can uh, hide the, um, the header. Okay, now we will create another sheet named Sales versus Profit Scatter Plot. And here um, we will drag the cells on columns and the profit on rows. Then we will drag the order ID 
on the tail. And now we we're going to create a calculated field named quadrant with a formula. If sum of cells, sum of cells is greater than cells parameter and sum of profit is greater than profit parameter, then high sales, high profit. Else if sum of sales is less than or equal to less than or equal to sales parameter and sum of profit is gr greater than profit parameter then low sales high profit else if sum of sales is high uh, high than um, sales parameter and sum of profit is less than or equal to profit parameter, then high sales, low profit. Else, low profit, low sales. Okay, and end. And now, this new calculated field, we will drag in on the marks area on color. Okay, and now we will create a dashboard. We will drag a vertical container and a blank, and then we will drag the sales versus profit scatter plot. We can hide the legend. Next to it, we will drag the profit slider. And here we will drag a horizontal container and the sales slider. We can hide the legend and also we can modify the height here. And also we can hide the title and we can add a sh uh, blank here in order to make this more um, okay. We can hide the title here. And here also. Okay, now we're gonna um, go to dashboard, actions, and actions, change parameter. We will rename this action profit update. From the source sheet, select profit slider. And then from the um, uh, run action on select, from the target parameter, select profit parameter. And for the field, select profit per order pin. And for the aggregation, select none. Then click OK. Now we um, need to create another uh, change parameter action named cells update. From the source sheet, select cell slider for, for the run action on select, for the target parameter, cells parameter, and for the field, select cells per order bin with the aggregation none. Then click OK. And now let's see what happened. When we are, uh, when we are changing this, uh, um, these sliders, we can see that the colors from uh, um, our scatter plot are changing because um, if we show the legend again, color legend, uh, and we will put this here, for example, with the blank here, uh, like this, we can see that if we are uh, uh, change the slider for the profit, um, the circles from our scatter plot are uh, changing uh, depending on these uh, labels. If we are uh, 
uh, if you have a, a high profit, we can see that um, our circle is uh, colored in the red, which means that here we have low profit. And if you uh, modify the profit to be, uh, I don't know, here we can see that um, our visualization is changing again because here we have uh, low sales and high profit because the circles are greater than our sliders. Thank you for watching guys and if you have any questions please please feel free to contact us.